China is the world's most populated country, but it is also a country that tries to keep the gospel out. By God's grace, my wife and I have been able to spend the last two years in mainland China, and God has been blessing. We have been able to effectively communicate now in Chinese, and I've been able to preach and uh, tell people the gospel all in the Chinese language. Nancy has been making a lot of progress as well, and she's been making contacts and witnessing to people all in Chinese. We praise the Lord for the help that he has given us. One of the best memories of the past two years was the day that Mr. Gold accepted Jesus Christ as his savior. I remember meeting Mr. Gold, and he's a Chinese university student studying in Jinan, China. We began studying what the Bible says about salvation. And uh, I asked him if he understood it, and he said he did. He said, the only way somebody can go to heaven is through Jesus Christ. And I said, well, would you like to receive Jesus Christ as your savior? And he told me no. And I was a little taken aback, but after talking to him, I found out why. He said just basically because of what people in his school might think of him, he wasn't ready to accept Christ. So Nancy and I continued to pray for him, and uh, God began doing a work in his heart. After about two more weeks, I had the opportunity to sit down again with him and study the Bible. I asked him what he had been thinking about over the past couple weeks, and he said, you know, the thing I've been thinking about the most is everlasting life, and how without everlasting life, nothing else in life really matters. And I was excited to see God working in his heart, and I said, well, now are you ready to accept Jesus Christ to be your Savior and trust on him? He said that he was, and that day he made a profession of faith in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord for working in his heart had the opportunity to continue discipling him and a few weeks later baptize him and I told him about our plans to start a church. He was super excited about that and said he wanted to be a help. He wanted to help us get started there in our first church plant in Jinan, China. We are excited about what God is doing in his life and in the lives of others there in Jinan, China. Nancy and I during these past couple years also had the opportunity to take several trips to the villages. Now in China, a village is different from the city. In villages, many people are illiterate. Many people uh, really have ha never really heard the gospel or heard of Jesus Christ, uh, even more so than in the big cities. And in these villages, we had the opportunity to witness to people and pass out gospel MP3 players that people could listen to the Bible and hear gospel messages. We're praying that God would do a great work in the villages of China. We're praying that God would help us train Chinese believers to go witness to the millions of people in these villages. And so what is next for us? We're excited about what God has done in the past two years, but what is coming up for us? Lord willing, in a couple months, began our first church plant there in the city of Jinan, China. We are praying that God would allow us to start many churches. We're praying that uh, God could help us uh, train Chinese young men to pastor and start churches. We're asking God to call laborers, call men to the ministry that we could train to go out and start many churches in Jinan. Jinan is a city of 8.2 million people that is located in a province of 100 million people in a country of 1.4 billion people. Now that is a lot of people, and these people are in darkness. They need the good news of Jesus Christ. We need God to do a great work. We need God to help and work in a mighty way. Would you pray for the gospel to go forward in a great way in China? We are Canon and Nancy Bloom, your missionaries to the country of China. Thank you for being behind us. Thank you for helping us get the gospel to China. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Without you being behind us, we couldn't do the work that God has called us to do. We are excited to see what God is going to do in the country of China.